All right, it is roughly 3.30 for me here, Friday morning, Thursday evening. The live feeds are still going on kind of on my side here, but pretty much everybody of note besides Lisa, Matt, Leia, and Mackenzie have gone to bed. So let's do our week one breakdown here on the channel. Starting off, we had our two live premieres, basically, which were the same thing. Eight house guests vote on whether they should allow Ainsley, who we end up knowing as BBAI, if they want, to, you know, we'll let her in the house. Both peep times voted no. The people who were voted yes would compete in a comp for an advantage, one each night. And the people who voted no will also compete in a comp with disadvantages. The advantages, which we know is a some type of HOH in America's veto were won by Quinn and Mackenzie. We don't know who gets what yet. We'll find that out most likely on Saturday or Sunday in the, in, in the Big Brother um, show. And the disadvantages went to Cedric and Chelsea. They became BB mascots this week, which means they can't play in a veto. They can't play HOH. They can't vote. But luckily for them, it seems like the house has decided if you are a BB mascot, they're just not going to have you be a nominee, which is perfectly great. And I think Cedric and especially Chelsea have done a good job integrating into the house. Chelsea has kind of been playing multiple sides of two big alliances that's happened. We'll go into that in here in a little bit. Where Cedric seems to be getting a, a, getting a trust of one side and has kind of people close together. First HOH was had, and we discovered it was our 50-year-old mother from Utah, Angela. And what is different about this year's HOH? Four nominees. That's right, not two, four. Four, four, four. How this is going to... just Is this too much blood? Is this not enough blood? Is it interesting? We'll have to wait and see. I think it's kind of too much blood. I don't like this change overall. Because in a 16-person house, to have to nominate four people, it's just too many people. You're going to need like, to find pawns and ways not to upset people. It really incentivizes a large group strategy coming with, with um, making bigger alliances, which we have seen. Angela, we find out, has had kind of a nine-person alliance that she's trying to work with as a voting block for at least the first two weeks. The names in that are going to be Brooklyn, Leia, Cameron, Chelsea, Quinn, Angela, Cedric, Joseph, and Rubina. Now, a few of those people have been working kind of the middle. Most notably, I would say Quinn and Chelsea and Joseph. Those three seemingly are kind of working another side that we'll get into about Matt and Mackenzie, as well as Leia. But we don't really know if Leia is super loyal to Matt and Mackenzie, or if she's going to rat them out. Because tonight, we got a bunch of Matt, Mackenzie, and whoever in the storage room, rec recruiting, 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 kind of being paranoid, kind of being all over the place, saying a lot of stuff that if it did get back to Angela later on, could put them both in trouble, and generally just probably doesn't give the, the, the taste of trust in the house, if you were to ask me. They were in the storage room, and Matt is still in the storage room, and we're like almost three hours into him being in that storage room. Um, and it's been noticed by Angela, Brooklyn, Joseph. Cedric went in there for a bit, and like Leia, uh, Leia, Matt, and, and Mackenzie had the most awkward, like, oh, we're not talking game in here, we're just having fun talks. We're like, Cedric pointed that right out again when he went to Angela. Like, yeah, no, they're, they're talking about stuff, but they're not including me in there. Joseph seems to be very much aligned heavily with Angela, but Matt and Mackenzie and Quinn are very confident they can include Joseph in their side of the alliance. Quinn, we don't know how DP is in with them. We didn't get much camp talk or any camp talk from him this episode, but he appears to be working pretty close with Joseph. And again, they're kind of in the very middle. Chelsea's another one, despite being disadvantaged, is heavily been beside Mackenzie for most of the night, but gave a pretty good confidence laydown with Angela. And Angela feels very comfortable with Chelsea overall. Um, Brooklyn and Chelsea kind of was in the HOH room towards the end of the night. It seems like they have a Golden Girls Mom Alliance. You know, we heard Brooklyn say she wants to be the first ever married mother to win Big Brother. 
It seems like she, she's okay with that goal being her or Angela. We'll see how long this alliance lasts. And yeah, as far as who's going to be nominated, it seems like we're going to be getting a nomination for Kenny, Kimo, Lisa, and one other, with Kenny kind of being the house consensus. And everybody's even saying he's not really talking much game. He isn't trying to connect. And he seems like he could be a very easy first boot this week, which makes me feel kind of happy because I had Kenny be my 16th ranked first boot house guest. Thank you very much. Some other tidbit of notes that I've had here is Joseph likes Matt a bit, but he is getting worried about Matt being a threat. And he was kind of nervous about Matt being in that storage room for the whole entire episode. Mackenzie has thrown out Leia as a target, but spent most of the second half of the evening being around Leia and working and talking with Leia. She mentioned early on Angela being somebody who needs to go out, despite Angela being the HOH. Again, things could get back and get Mackenzie in trouble. We know she has a power, so maybe that comes into hand. Um, Mackenzie and Matt both say Leia spilled to Angela. We don't know if that's true or not, but they were very anti-Leia until they started talking with her, and now they seem to be in with Leia. Um, Joseph and Cedric really want to confirm this Power 9 alliance. Um, we heard that earlier in the night. Uh, Kenny lied to Joseph about the veto. That got kind of clocked out. More reason why Kenny might be going up. It seems like Joseph and Angela, like I said earlier, are very close. Um, Quinn was the one who, pro who pro kind of proposed a core four with Matt and Mackenzie that includes Joseph, maybe even Chelsea too. Joseph also mentioned he's, he, you know, he promised a core safety. Um, and Angela didn't seem too upset by that. Angela didn't seem to want to put Takora on the block herself. Seems to think that Takora might be somebody they can bring in after a week or two. Matt seems to be very out of the loop and paranoid. Him and Mackenzie were spiraling when the feeds first started. They've kind of calmed down now more, but I think their damage in terms of trust went done when they were in the storage room for like three plus hours. And if Leia does go in there and rat to Angela, like, hey, what were you guys talking about in the storage room? It could be a big game sank for both Matt and Mackenzie here in day one. Matt is telling everybody Leia was offering him a final three, and at this point in the game, Leia was kind of MIA, so I assume she was in the diary room, who knows? But Matt also outed a final two that Tucker offered him, and it's just like, dude, why are you out with all these deals? You're just putting it out there in general. Joseph said this Alliance of Nine kind of started with Angela and others before the HOH comp, so that's why he's feeling very confident about that side. Um, I said, Ch you know, Chelsea's doing a great job working both sides. Joseph even tells Angela, hey, let's wait about Matt until after Vito, because, again, Angela's noticing, Cedric had the comments, and Brooklyn, everybody's noticing that Mackenzie and Matt were gone throughout the whole episode. Um, the evening. Now, the second half of this evening, Lisa has spent a lot of time with Matt, and Matt feels like he is recruiting Lisa into his side alliance, I guess, a counter-alliance to Angela and what she's making overall. But the best I can say coming out of here is it seems like Kenny is a pretty consensus house target. We're going to get four nominees, and... That's just too much blood on my hand. I'm not a big fan of that, but, you know, we'll see where that goes, and... We'll wait to see. I'm waiting for Quinn and Joseph to link up to try and download all the information that they both had gotten from each one of their sides. I'm waiting to see Leia talk to Angela tomorrow and see if she's going to spill anything. And we're going to get our nominations and figuring out how these vetoes work overall. Um, that's going to be this week's update. Again, it's not that extensive because... We only have one night of feeds and two basic episodes, but we'll be back next Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific for the next week update review. Power rankings, which I guarantee you are shifting from my preseason rankings on Tuesday at 10 a.m. Eastern time, 7 p.m. Pacific, 7 a.m. Pacific, and our daily live feed uploads every morning and afternoon. And I'll tell you what, starting 8 p.m. Friday night, Mountain Time, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Pacific, live feed marathoning on Josh Does Movies. It's my weekend. It's the first weekend of live feeds. We're going to be watching all the live feeds as long as we can and just talking about it and building the community up. I want to thank everybody who checked out the channel and subscribed. 
and during the live feed watch along for the first night it just keep coming back and i love this big brother community and building it up this type of way but that's going to be it for this week we're keeping it under 10 minutes and that's big b b 26 week one in the books